Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, free site, DwyerVIP.com, free site. It's the day before the fight, Alexander Povetkin against David Price. Let's talk about it. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, I know the odds on this fight are daunting. But as I see it, this fight can only end one of two ways. Right? Either Alexander Povetkin closes the show and gets a stoppage, or David Price opens the show by getting a stoppage. In other words, to me, David Price is only viable early in this fight and his only chance of winning the fight is by KO. Now let's be clear here. Prevetkin's 38 years old. He's been busted for performance enhancing drugs more than once. His calling card has been being one of the best athletes at heavyweight. When you're 38 years old, some of that athleticism starts to wane. <coughs> I felt, too, that some of Povetkin's fights, in particular, his fight against Carlos Takam, may well have ended differently if Povetkin didn't have really unnatural stamina in that fight. Now, who knows if Povetkin was clean for that fight. I have no information to suggest that he wasn't. But let's just say later he was busted taking meldonium, right? A drug that boosts stamina. So, let's take a crack at one of the most lopsided lines this weekend. I'm not endorsing any website whatsoever. I'm not even telling people to use the website. But just going off Bovada.lv, right, for odds purposes, understand David Price right now simply to win is a plus 950. Plus 950. Understand that makes the hedge possible. The play I like, using the odds on the website I mentioned, is David Price simply to win at a plus 950 hedged with Povetkin by KO right at a minus 700 right again the gap between the plus 950 and the minus 700 makes this play worthwhile but understand the risk involved. If this fight goes the distance, and understand it should be a 12 round fight, if it goes the distance, you lose it all. That's how I see it. I think that <coughs> Price is a puncher who can't box. He has a chin problem. He runs out of ideas around the fifth round of fights. I feel that Povetkin is a guy who doesn't have a home run punch. But he tends to outmaneuver and outhook opponents. Right? He's accurate when he needs to be. Right? So that tells me what's going to happen is either Price catches him cold early in the bout. Or Povetkin slowly figures out how to get by the height gap. Realizes that apart from Price's heavy punches, Price doesn't really know how to set anything up. Right? And Povetkin then starts wearing Price out in the latter part of the fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. <coughs> I like, apart from coughing here, I like Price simply to win. Plus 950. Hedged with Prevetkin by KO, minus 700. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments.